Hey, I'm Benny, and welcome to the series where we go over a small aspect of SimTutor and walk you through it, giving my tips and tricks as we go. Over the next couple of episodes, we'll be covering the picture swap step, more specifically, how to make what's shown here from one of our demo sims. Today, we'll be covering how to make the background image portion of the step within PowerPoint. Let's get started. As mentioned earlier, we're going to be using PowerPoint to create this background image um, of this picture swap step. So if you've got other tools you want to use like Photoshop or whatever else, you do go ahead and do that. But um, I find most people just find it easiest on PowerPoint. Um, first thing we're going to do is change the slide size. I covered this often in one of the previous episodes, but I'll do it again now. So under the design tab up here, you want to choose slide size and make this custom slide size. Um, we want to make it a full resolution. Um, like a full resolution screen size, so that's 191920px. You got to write the px as well, and then 1080px. I just hit tab to go to the next one, um, and it will automatically set the the centimeters according to the pixels. So you can go ahead and click OK, and it will adjust the screen the slide size. So this is when we save the image at the end. It will come as a better resolution, uh, allowing us to have a nice looking image. Right, once we've done that, we want to grab our background image that we're going to use for this picture swap step. Um, I've just got it on the side here, so I'm going to copy and paste it. So we're just using the saw background image here. You can use whatever you want for your picture swap. Um, and we want to uh, section off a section here that we can use for our swap image. So you see on, that, on the left side. So what we're going to do for that is draw a square. So you can go up to insert and um, add a shape here, um, a square rectangle. And then just draw, click and drag to draw a, a rectangle on like the on like a quarter of the image, I guess. Make sure that's all fully covered, and set it to like a, a gray or something. Um, we want to have a bit of transparency in here, so to do that, we can go shape fill, and under under more fill colors, you can add like a twenty percent transparency, twenty two whatever, and it kind of just makes it look a little bit nicer. Um, we want to make sure it has no outline because it looks a little bit weird with an outline. So now the images are going to appear here once the step's finished. We want to have text instructing the learners how to uh, complete the step. So we're just going to add a text box and then just write a bit of text in there. Cool. And now we just want to um, make this look a little bit nicer. So we can just uh, center align it, just make it a little bit bigger, something like that. Cool. It's quite um, dark. It's quite a, quite a black color. So we're just going to um, change the drawing tool. So we're going to make the text fill a little bit lighter. So we'll just use like a, a nice dark gray and just makes it look a little bit nicer. Having black is quite a, a sharp um, color from a design perspective. So it just makes it a little bit, little bit nicer like this. And then we want to kind of direct them that way. So we want to like draw an arrow or something. You can go ahead and insert a shape and just draw an arrow. So you can choose, there's a bunch of different arrow choices you can choose here. So I'm just going to have a look for one. We'll choose this one here. I'll just draw an arrow and just make that a gray as well and give it no outline. Something like that. Um, you can do whatever you want. You can get an image of Google if you want to as well. And finally, we want them to be able to move on to the step. Um, so have that little button that we have on the bottom left corner. So this is just done um, with a mixture of shapes and everything. So I've just drawn a rounded rectangle. So by the way, I've, I've added the shapes thing here to the quick access toolbar, and that's why I can access it up here quite easily. Um, so yeah, we've got a button here. I'll just do this really quick. Uh, I've made it green. So again, shape fill to make it green, outline a little bit of a darker green. Uh, even make that outline a little bit, uh, the, the weight a little bit more, just like that. And then you can just in there, right click to proceed, and then make that, so highlight this, make that black, and just increase the size a little bit, like that. Cool. And then you can add an arrow, do what you want, but for now we'll just leave it like that. And finally, the last step, which is a bit optional, but I find it kind of helps, um, especially when this image is quite busy and you're not too sure where you want to hover add a little bit of an icon or something like that to show the learner this is a part where you can hover. So what we've done is added these little um, owls with a tick. So you can see this image here. And I've basically just resized it so it's nice and small and then just put it next to one of these 
um, points of interest. So this is the locking pin hole here. So we've got one here. And then this dust extractor fan, we can put one next to it here. And you can kind of just see as I'm doing this, uh, I'm just putting it next to the things of interest. So I'll just finish this off. Cool. And then there's there's our background image all done. So all we need to do now is just save it as an image. So I've done this before on this um, channel as well. So just go to File, Save As, Browse, and under the Save File Type As, change it to JPEG or PNG. And in this sense, I think a JPEG will be better because it's, uh, it's, it's not a graphic image. It's more of a um, photo, photographic image. And then just save this as background saw or something and then save and then you can just save that file and it will uh, export as an image so that's all for this episode next week we're going to cover the swap images and just how to make those within powerpoint uh, if you have any questions about this process uh, let us know at info at and we'll see you next time